Okay, so uh, I just have started the recording and we will get started if that's all right with you uh, a little bit after 12. Uh, this is our last care forum of the semester. Uh, so thank you all for for joining me for this or joining us for this and um, uh, for for all the other events. Um, a special thank you to uh, Professor Harada, who is joining us uh, at seven o'clock uh, from Paris, where she's located right now. So um, it, we've had a couple uh, speakers this, this uh, semester um, uh, from Europe, and and uh, special thanks when you're willing to take uh, time out of your Friday nights to to talk about care ethics with us. So so it's much appreciated. Uh, we will continue with the Care Forum series next year. I sent out a call for proposals that uh, Asha Asha Bandari wrote up. I think she's here with us. Um, and uh, so we're going to, uh, to let people submit um, uh, proposals for next year's Care Forum. And then uh, the Oversight Committee uh, will meet and uh, make a decision and get back to everyone. I think, I think we said in uh, by like early August. So, uh, so we're hoping for four sessions next year. So please stay tuned and and come back for us uh, next year. But uh, that is all in the future today. We're very lucky uh, to have Professor Harada uh, with us. Uh, she is a Brazilian philosopher, born in Japan, and currently a professor at the University of Paris Eight. Uh, which I mentioned because it explains in part the countries she focuses on when studying care work, right? Uh, Brazil, Japan, and France, if you had uh, any uh, questions about that. She's the author of many articles and books on care work, labor markets, globalization, and gender equality, including a Critical Dictionary of Feminism and Care and Care Workers, a Latin American Perspective, which is the book from which uh, the chapter that I sent out comes from. So uh, today, uh, Professor Harata will be uh, presenting Care and Care Workers Brazil, uh, France, Japan, and uh, she'll talk for, I don't know, 30 minutes or something. Uh, and then we'll open the floor to questions. Um, uh, you know, you can use the raise hand function. I mean, that's always the easiest way, but uh, you know, we're a small enough group, group that um, if you wanna jump in um, uh, after after Professor Harad is done uh, uh, in the discussion, um, you know, that, that'll be fine too. So uh, Professor Harad, thank you for being here and let me hand things over to you. Thank you for your presentation. I will speak uh, about uh, uh, care and care workers in Brazil, France and Japan. Uh, hello, thank you for your presence at this care forum. I have chosen to talk to you about one of the three aspects of my book, Care Theories and Practice. This book shows the diversity of theories on care and the diversity of experience, practice, and working conditions of care workers. Uh, the first aspect on the book is about definitions, theories, and controversies about care. The second aspect is the contribution of international comparisons to enrich the understanding of care. Uh, the, the, the third the, the, the aspect is the centrality of women's work, both domestic and professional, the centrality of women's work in care, and the struggles they, they lead to have the value of this work recognized. I will speak about the, the second point, the international comparisons on care. My definition of care is a material, technical, and an emotional work that is shaped by social relations of gender, class, race, ethnicity between different protagonists, the providers, and the beneficiaries of care, as well as all those who supervise or prescribe the work. Care is not only a caring attitude, it covers a set of material activities and relationships consisting in providing a concrete response to the needs of others. It can also be defined as a relationship of service, support, and assistance, paid or not, involving a sense of, of his responsibilities for the life and the well-being of others. International comparison of, of care work. The international comparison shows that there is no one way, way to provide care, but the work of ca caregivers is devalued everywhere. The international comparison shows that the trajectories of caregivers are very different and that there are very different configurations of social relations from country to country, but it is the most vulnerable who are in care work in the three countries studied. The professional and personal trajectories are very unequal. Informality and multiple jobs for care workers in Brazil, migration and the screening of women in France, unemployment and the retraining for the relatively numerous men in Japan. 
Despite the different configuration of social relation of sex, race, and class, it is the most vulnerable and precarious who find themselves in the care professions. Similarities in social demographic changes. These international comparisons show similarities in social demographic changes, especially first, a sharp decline in fertility in the three countries, second, the accelerated aging of the population, 27,7% over 65 years old in Japan in 2017, 19,6% over 60, 65 years old in France in nine, uh, uh, 2018, and 14,3% over 60 years old in Brazil in 2020. And third, they tried into paid work of women in the three countries who can no longer work at home and to care for their children, the elderly, the disabled, the sick. Hence, an exponential increase in professions related to care, in particular home helpers in the three countries, more than 500,000 in France, 550,000 in Japan, 175,000 in Brazil. You can see the pace of growth of occupation in home care, domestic employment, and other occupation uh, in the stati Brazilian statistic. The first, uh, the, 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 the most shows, shows the increase of uh, uh, personal uh, care workers in domestic care professions. Difference in the social organization of care. The most important macro social difference between the three countries concerns the social organization of care, the presence of the state in the case of France, of the family in the case of Japan, of the community, and the neighborhood based social network as far as Brazil is concerned. These differences have already been apprehended during our research on unemployment in the three countries with the importance of the state in France and social networks in Brazil. But in the case of an unemployment, it was the company and not the family that came to the aid of the unemployed, unemployed in Japan. Public policies. Public policies are very present in France and Japan in the care of the elderly. A part, allocation personalisée d'autonomie in France since, since uh, 2002, and long term care insurance in Japan since 2000. This state allowance helps elderly to enter into nursing homes, EPAD, Etablissement d'hébergement pour les personnes âgées dépendantes in France, ILPI, Institution de longue permanence pour les idosos in Brazil, Toyo, Tokubetsu Yogo Roji Home in Japan, or to hire home helper. In Brazil, there is nothing comparable, no structure, structured institutional framework for the care for, uh, of the elderly. Here you see. Uh, uh, figure uh, showed by Huriito, a so Japanese sociologist in uh, in uh, University of São Paulo uh, a symposium in nineteen uh, in two thousand eighteen, and she shows that uh, the long term care use, uh, insurance is used for for home based service uh, mostly, uh, and uh, secondly for the facility service and uh, also for the community-based service that are increasing, but um, it's uh, low, uh, for instance. But it, uh, in Japan, uh, the, the community-based service uh, are increasing uh, very fast uh, uh, in the last, uh, last time. Difference in management policies. Other differences can be seen in work organization and management policies. The large number of male care workers in Japanese uh, uh, nursing homes, almost 40%, compared, compared to 10% of male uh, care workers in France and 5% of male care workers in Brazil. Explanation, the role of the state vis-a-vis -vis the unemployment in Japan with the bankruptcy of Lehman Brothers in 2008 and the crisis that followed and the incentive for young men to integrate the care sector. Mixed function, but sexual division of power. Men are in leadership and supervising position. They become team leaders. 
Nursing homes, what makes salaries difficult to compare is the existence only in Japan of the bonus, this premium received twice a year by regular workers, Seishain, in June, July, and in December, and which can represent four times the monthly salary. On the subject of the usage, spending, or saving of this bonus, a number of interest, interesting testimonies were co collected in the interviews. The workers were surprised, surprised to know that there were no bonuses in France or in Brazil. Dif other difference in management policies. In nursing homes, another difference in care work in Japan is linked to the practice of over overtime. This is a way of doing a favor in the company, and there is no compensation in monetary terms or the additional hours of rest. There are quite significant differences between Japanese establishments for the elderly. Some are strict about the payment of overtime, zangyo teate, but their no payment seems to be a practice very rooted in the world of work in Japan. During my research on the <laughs> during my research on the subsidiaries and parent companies of Japanese and French multinational firms in the 80s, I noticed that the hierarchy starting from the section had worked at around 30 unpaid overtime hours per week. Basic employees doing one or two hours of overtime did not dare ask to be for paid for their overtime when their bosses did the same without any compensation. This practice persists 30 years later, as overtime must be declared to the management of the establishment for it to be paid at the care workers when they stay after their normal working day to write the day's report or complete a task in progress do not dare to declare them so as not to penalize the company. Similarities. Perception of wages considers low in the three countries. Perception of their work is devalued by the workers of the three countries. As for age wages in the three countries, the calculation in the next graph shows that caregivers are better paid in Japan, less well paid in Brazil, with France in between. You see in the left the graph for the Brazilian uh, wages. Uh, in the middle, the the triangle of the uh, wages of the French uh, care workers, and in the right coin, coin uh, the uh, wage of the Japanese uh, care workers. Uh, so uh, French wages are generally in the middle, while Japanese wages are concentrated on the right of the table where wages are higher. It is interesting to relate these figures to the amount of the SMIC minimum wage of each country. The SMIC was at the time of the survey in 2011. The Brazilian reais and Japanese yen are converted into French euros. In Brazil, 276 euros, the minimum wage in Brazil. In France, from one uh, 1,117 uh, euros, uh, the minimum wage in France, and in Japan, Tokyo, uh, 100 to 1,219 uh, euros uh, in uh, converted in euros, the yens, uh, the, the amount of minimum wage. Another similarity, health at work. Back pain, very frequent without a preventive company policy in nursing homes. Caregivers in the three countries complain of back pain, lumbago. The following photo shows how the caregivers use their bodies and their backs to lift the elderly person to bed or to take them out of the wheelchair and place them in a chair or vice versa. This is a Brazilian case, uh, one uh, nurse and uh, one care worker uh, putting in bed one uh, elderly person. This is in Japan, one uh, care worker uh, taking uh, one uh, elderly person from a chair to wheelchair. Here she's putting the wheelchair. Here is uh, one uh, man care worker, who are male care worker, and one female worker, female care worker that are putting one elderly person, woman, in the bed. 
And this is one uh, care worker that are putting uh, well elderly person in the wheelchair. Here in France uh, is a uh, um, verticalizer. It's equipment to, to put uh, someone in a, a vertical position uh, to clean and uh, the bed and uh, hygienize the, the person. The last photo from France uh, to 2011 shows a verticalizer which lifts the elderly person out of bed so that the caregiver can change the sheet and perform the elderly's hygiene. With the verticalizer, there is no need for two caregivers or physical effort. Equipment in a Brazilian nursing home in 2022, I think do this uh, uh, field work uh, last year, in the sec uh, second semester of last year, uh, we saw that technology decreased the physical effort of the caregivers, the weight of the elderly being supported by the equipment. The next photo shows Sarah Stead with a woman and Max Movie with a man. In this nursing home, where they have equipment in 2010, Jack, to move a very fat person from one piece to another. One uh, care worker in this, um, in this uh, institution, this uh, nursing home in 22, said that today we have device, device to help us, right? To protect our colon. The, here is a wood woman that are going with uh, Sarah Stead to her bed uh, alone without the uh, help of a uh, uh, care worker. Uh, this is uh, the same uh, old, old elderly uh, women that are going to bed with uh, this equipment uh, named Sarah Stead. This is uh, one uh, man that are uh, putting uh, in the wheelchair with, uh, with the equipment that names uh, uh, Max Movie. And Max Movie, uh, he is going to a uh, uh, wheelchair to go to the, the bathroom. And uh, a care worker is uh, helping him to uh, ent uh, go to the wheelchair. Technical and social innovation. Since this is a sector that employs a majority of women, these innovations have direct consequences on women's activity and working conditions, for example, when it comes to lifting or carrying in weight. Thus, technical innovation mainly involves the ways in which older people move around equipment to change position and move from lying down to sitting or from sitting to standing, equipment to move other people, especially if they are overweight, from one place to another, for example. For women, this equipment represents less physical effort. For managers, this may be associated with a reduction in personnel. What used to be done by two caregivers can now be done by only one. To my knowledge, there was no struggle in favor or of implementing this innovation, nor against it then. As with innovation in the industrial sector, one sees the diffusion of forms of innovation from one country to another, for example, from the Nordic country to Japan, in the case of the organization, a small unit of elderly people for, who have Alzheimer's. No technical innovation in care facilities in 1911. I did not find, as one might imagine, technical innovation from Japan in the three care facilities for the elderly where I did my field work in 2011. Nor did I find robots replacing care workers, as the media suggests when they present the robotization of elderly care in Japan. I only saw technical adaptations such as butt rubs or furo with the mobile side to make it easier for the elderly to enter the bath. I would like to refer here to ongoing research on robotization in nursing home in Japan carried out by Yuko Tamaki Welpli, PhD at Ecole de Haute Études en Sciences Sociales. In France, one of the public facilities for the care of dependent elderly had the rights for standing up elderly purple people. Thus, a single caregiver could proceed with the beneficiary as EGN and lay him or her down with the help of the, this equipment, which was practical especially at night, when the number of caregivers were reduced. In Brazil, in a private establishment for healthy people, the caregivers could use a piece of equipment they called jack, a transfer machine that could move a person weighing more than 100 kilos without having it to lift the, him or her. Organization innovation, the small unit, Cantus. From the point of view of social innovation, it is worth mentioning the organization of care spaces for people with Alzheimer's. I have observed this form of organization in a facility for the dependent elderly people in France and in Japan. 
There are small units of no more than 10, 10 people who are encouraged to participate in different daily activities, peeling vegetables, for, for, folding washed and dried clothes, and so on, with the nursing and assisted living, living staff. These small units in the French establishment called Cantu, named after a corner near the fireplace in houses in Provence, are rare in France, but in Japan they have been institutionalized and are part of the Japanese government's guidelines for care facilities for elderly people with Alzheimer's because their small size allow for richer interaction between care recipients and care caregivers. They are appropriate in that the small groups facilitate no separated and specialized care, holistic care, in which workers are multi-skilled in carrying out tasks, smooth putting, serving, cleaning, tidying, and so on, recreating the domestic atmosphere and also favoring the participation, when possible, of the elderly themselves. Here is uh, France Cantu. You see the two um, care workers that, that are preparing the lunch and the uh, the elderly person that are uh, waiting for the lunch and uh, after they are uh, after prepared they will serve they will clean they will uh, all, do all the things and uh, this uh, this is not see in brazil uh, i did not see this kind of innovation in the free establishment i did field work in brazil the specialization of tasks is the rule in brazil and the division between the work of caring itself and the housekeeping work makes it an innovative organization of the country type difficult in the country on the other hand greater open openness to caregivers polyvalence allow this type of experience to develop in the case of the two establishment I did feed work, one in France and the other in Japan, with this instrumentalization of the domestic work model, in which one observes concomitance and superimposition of tasks over time and no hierarchy and separation of activities among the different agents. Here is the Brazil specialization. Uh, do you see cook? They are only cooking. They are not uh, care workers. They don't do care uh, with the, um, uh, the beneficiaries, uh, with the old person. They are only cooking. And uh, here are people that are uh, eating what uh, they, the cook uh, made, uh, but uh, without contact, uh, direct contact with them. Innovation and identification of work. In the case of two establishments observed in France and in Japan, this type of innovative organization of care had as a consequence the intensification of the caregiver's work. They had to take charge of all the care of the beneficiaries, cleaning the common areas of the establishment, preparing all the meals, which were not the responsibility of specialized personnel, as I saw in other establishments in the three countries, but were part of the caregivers' responsibilities. These caregivers were called housekeepers in this establishment. Thus, a structure considered more adequate and innovative for other Alzheimer's patients had as a consequence a degradation of the working condition of the caregivers were, uh, who were mostly women. These women does a lot of things and uh, not uh, have a specialized uh, function uh, the, the given to other structures and uh, they, they do all. I will change uh, about uh, the question of subjectivity and work. Important because in the work of care, the materiality of this work and its technical aspect are inseparable from the emotional work and the affects which are mobilized there. Pleasure, suffering, revolution, impatience, tenderness, and so on. Subjectivity is a structuring dimension of the dimension of care as a social relationship. There are no significant differences in their description of their arrangement and practice, but rather convergence and similarities. Similarity the suffering and sleep disturbance caused by the death of the elderly person being cared for, reported by caregivers in the three countries. Also, the guilt caused by the disappearance, fugue, the suicide of an elderly person who was being cared for, reported by French and Japanese caregivers. So many years later, the carers of a long-term public institution for the elderly in France still remember the disappearance of a resident suffering from Alzheimer's disease who had left the establishment by deceiving the system of surveillance. He was never found. We weren't careful enough. There is no code at the elevator or, the ex or at, at, at the exit door. 
Similarly, years later, in a similar institution in Japan, they did step and he recalls the suicide of one of the elderly patients who threw himself from the second floor. It's a lack of vigilance. He threw himself out of the window in our presence and we could do, do nothing. Sexuality and work. The sexual dimensions constitute of care relationship in the institution and in home. In Brazil, with the story of involuntary demonstration of erect older men and the, the bad time of explicit manifestation of requests for sexual satisfaction by older women. In Japan, a 21 years old nurse responsible for the fall in the bed of an elderly man who had a wandering hand. An accident, I let the resident slip off at that bath time. I was very afraid. He was a resident who liked to touch, but he wasn't doing it to hurt. I think he had his reasons. Difficult, difficult to dis, do this job, Kaigo. Yeah. This episode, which took place during the first months of work with, uh, for this young uh, caregiver, refers to the question raised by Molinier on the right way to practice care and on the professional competence that the situation involving a form of sexuality would require both on the part of the care and the beneficiary of the care. Dropping the elderly men we are caring for, for does not prove that there would be a necessary qualification for this function, but we cannot force the caregiver to accept the sexual harassment of his men on the practice that he has cognitive problems and lack of self-control. In France, we pray, frame those who say things. Oh, you have to know how to react. We cannot have a brutal attitude. We need to make people understand that we are here with respect. They cannot do that. We have here a man who really talks badly to us, saying things to us, and it's necessary to reframe him, telling him to, that no, we are not here. We are not here to help him. We are here to help him. We are not here to be groped or touched. You must respect me and I must respect you. But you know, it's normal. That is life. It's necessary to think about the training required for this profession of care. All the professional interviews in the three countries affirmed that there was no module in the training which integrates the question of sexuality in this type of profession. However, nurses in France have proposed an alternative, which is also mentioned by Molinier, to tell the story of what happened and discuss it in meetings on the working group. The laissez-faire could be part of the discrete know-how. Molinier emphasized the importance of the collective in building normative agreements, the role of the group in discussing and thinking about the appropriate solutions in the face of this eruption of sexuality in the work of care seems on the fundamental. <clears throat> I think uh, in, 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 no, we don't have in all the uh, nursing homes uh, the group, uh, collective group of where we can do this discussion. So people, uh, when they have this experience of uh, <clears throat> sexual harassment, they uh, speak with uh, the hierarchical superior. Uh, with the, the executive, with the manager, and uh, seeing what is occurred, and when when we lack of the we we lack uh, the uh, a collective uh, were discussed. Let us return in conclusion to the question that we would like to discuss: question that emerged from the examination of theories and practice of care. First, the challenge is to know what would mean for contemporary societies the fact to take care seriously and integrate into our conception of the good society, the values of care, which are thoughtfulness, responsibility, compassion, or attention to the need of others. Marie Garou and Alice de Goff, Care, Justice, and Dependency, Introduction to Theories of Care. This is a question of the caring society put forward in 2000 by Evelyn Akanugain, Glenn, in creating a caring society, taking up in the concept from a care perspective. Care perspective is a concept of Molinier, Logier, Paperman, French uh, uh, psychologist, uh, Molinier, Logier, philosopher, Paperman, sociologist of moral. Uh, in the second, in the care society, priority is given to the well-being of the people receiving care. The question is, what priorities? Question that emerged through the, the debate of the book Le Fossoyeur, 
which denounces the practice of the OPA group. It's a OPA group is a group of uh, nursing homes. We see in this group the priority of profit and profitability to the detriment of the priority of the production of the, the life care. Third, why the current sexual, social, racial segregation of care work shouldn't all care men upper class white is the question uh, uh, Joan Tronto uh, say uh, the, the gendering uh, care. Uh, the, the care must be due by men or women uh, and uh, not uh, only by women, uh, in, uh, mig migrate, migrate uh, poor, uh, what one kind of, of uh, care worker. Uh, for for uh, for uh, why the monetary and symbolic devaluation of reproductive labor carries essential life sustaining work shouldn't that work be given due value be, be, because it's devaluated it's a it's a kind of work completely de de devaluated and uh, uh, the, the, if the this care work uh, do, 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 doesn't work the the children the the baby will die the elderly person will die and so it's um, it's incredible that uh, we, they don't have uh, the society don't give uh, the due value to this this profession of this work. These are questions that emerge from the research that has just been presented. Thanks. Thank you very much. That was excellent. Uh, we will now uh, open the floor to questions, uh, uh, you know, or comments, um, uh, discussion. If, you know, it all tends to be uh, uh, fairly free flowing and um, uh, informal. So uh, if anyone would like to step forward. Yes, Jocelyn. Sorry, unmuting myself. Uh, first of all, thank you for the this paper, the, the work you share with us, and also just for all of your work in this field. It's really um, just fantastic and pathbreaking. Um, I was interested in, um, to, I'm a historian by training, so a history question and then a kind of future question. The history question um, is that your work has always fascinated me because you're dealing with three places that have very different relationships to the history of slavery. Um, obviously a very dense relationship in Brazil, a somewhat attenuated relationship in France, although you know, obviously um, with a history of its imperial, the kind of legacies of, of imperialism there, and then and then quite different in, in Japan. And I I'm curious just reading the paper and thinking about the particular racializations in these different contexts, how much you see that explicitly playing a role. And then the future looking one, and I, I don't know how much this has been part of your work, but um, is whether you see all of the shift toward platform and gig economies making much difference in terms of some of the demographic practices and or in any way in the um, delivery of care in these different in these very different contexts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your question and your comments. I think uh, the la question, the, the problem of slavery, uh, the different thing in, in each country is uh, fundamental for the, the con working conditions of uh, care workers uh, today. And uh, in, 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 in Brazil, mostly the question of slavery, uh, it's uh, present um, in the uh, domestic workers' uh, uh, work and uh, in care workers, and they are um, uh, racialized, they are uh, the, the racist, uh, uh, the popo, uh, the, the, the discourse of racism is very uh, intense in Brazil and uh, in France also. And uh, you, 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 you said uh, well that, that the question of uh, uh, imperialism in France, because we not, don't have a slavery in France directly in the uh, in the France country, but uh, uh, slavery in the uh, different uh, uh, island uh, 
would uh, from the imperialist perspective uh, it, it was very important also and so uh, we have a lot of uh, immigration uh, uh, ch ch children of immigration and, and the immigrated uh, people that we uh, immigrated women that come and uh, do uh, work in um, uh, in care and facilities in, in France and uh, they are also uh, discriminated because uh, they have uh, uh, good uh, diplomas uh, they are nurses, for example, and uh, they are uh, recruited not like uh, uh, nurses, but like uh, care workers uh, with um, a salary um, less inter interesting than if uh, she, she, they were uh, nurses. And so I think it's important, it's very important to, to point to the question of uh, immigration. And uh, I think you, 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 you appointed, um, uh, 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 you, you said uh, it's important what you remar your remark about uh, uh, the history of uh, each country. In Japan, we don't have uh, slavery and uh, it's uh, other kind of uh, racism with um, people like Okinawa, uh, it's a country of uh, Japan or uh, the, 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 the people that are considered um, less less human than uh, the others, Japanese and so on. But uh, we, don't, we don't have the, the uh, uh, slavery, directly slavery in, in Japan. And so I think it's very important what you are pointing about uh, the different perspective from the historical point of view. And the second question of the platforms, I think um, it's uh, interesting that uh, in Brazil, we, we, it's uh, increasing a, a lot of uh, platform, uh, not only uh, platform for domestic workers, but also for care workers. And uh, um, it will change, of course, the the the, the labor market and the the, the condition of uh, negotiation of uh, uh, salary and uh, con the uh, working condition and so on. And uh, we saw that in France, uh, it's it's less developed. The, the platformization. Uh, we have uh, now a, a, a survey that showed that only very few um, platforms exist uh, in uh, this the domain of uh, of uh, care, and uh, pro probably because uh, in France uh, the association as are very important. The the association that. Uh, the the care workers go to association to uh, have uh, intermediation with the families that are need uh, that need their work and uh, they are not um, fond of uh, uh, going to a platform for example so uh, the platform are are not uh, very developed in France in Japan I think it's not developed no, no more because they are uh, they are very technologically uh, uh, advanced, but um, some things uh, they are not, uh, uh, for example, even the hobo robotization, it's uh, not so so developed, uh, it's developed, but not uh, uh, a lot, uh, a big development of uh, robotization in care work, uh, care, in care facilities. And uh, I think uh, in the platform, not, 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 uh, it's not uh, working also uh, well, like in Brazil, where uh, the platform is increasing and developing very fastly. Thank you. Uh, I will go now to Asha, uh, who is here with her class. Yes, thank you um, so much for that uh, lecture. And I'm here with my students from an upper level philosophy class on culture recognition and the self. We've been thinking about uh, culture and we've uh, engaged a little bit with care in the course of the class. 
but I work on uh, racialized practices of care, thinking about racialized practices of care. And I wonder about, I'm curious about the extent to which you found instances of um, inversions of racial hierarchies and caregiving relations. So in these in these different um, countries with their their different histories, are there cases in which, say, um, caregiving goes from people who are white and members of the dominant majority to people of color? Is that, have you seen that in, um, particularly in the sort of the paid care work um, arena? Yes, I think it's very important to the question of um, racialized uh, and the color of uh, people that are caring uh, people, white people, because uh, they, they are uh, in the in the uh, association and the enterprises. Uh, uh, often, uh, people that um, family that are looking for uh, care workers said that we don't have what we don't want. Uh, um, uh, black uh, women. We don't want uh, uh, people with uh, race, race uh, uh, not not the same condition of race with uh, of of us. And uh, this uh, kind of um, re reaction is very common, and it's common in in France or or in Brazil. We we saw in the two two countries this kind of uh, uh, ask uh, request of the of the family of uh, all the elderly people and uh, they have uh, difficult uh, difficult to um, think that uh, these people that uh, of color uh, can uh, touch a white uh, mother or white people and uh, this is a very important uh, issue of uh, the, the, of this 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 question this problem and uh, i think it's uh, it's uh, important what you said about the uh, racialization of uh, uh, hierarchy of course well, I think that's so interesting. And I wonder if I can just follow up even more radically, if you've seen cases in which, you know, if we if we sort of um, uh, have the idea of, you know, racial hierarchies in mind, um, do you see cases in which actually people who are white are providing care to people of color? So in addition to the exclusion of, 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 um, of people of color as caregivers for white families, do you also see, have you seen cases where the sort of, um, where the possibilities of radical transformation are being realized in terms of our racialized um, globe? I think uh, the in, in France uh, associations uh, ask it, uh, no, say that they have not, uh, they don't uh, 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 sell color, they sell service. And so uh, they they, uh, they try to educate the families uh, not to have a racist uh, proposition and racist ask uh, request, and they say we are not uh, for us. The color is not important. What is important is the service, the quality of service we are doing, and uh, so it's uh, a kind of. Uh, uh, is tentative to uh, um, uh, educate the people that are requesting uh, res, res, uh, res, racist uh, proposition. And uh, we don't see here see this uh, kind of uh, problem in Japan because uh, in Japan we don't have uh, um, immigration. We don't, we didn't have immigration because uh, government wasn't uh, doesn't want uh, immigrated people, and so uh, we don't have uh, black uh, people in the care workers and uh, only uh, white. Uh, from uh, Asia, for example, for China or for Korea, but uh, not uh, they are not the black mm -hmm. people. Thank you. That's so interesting how the assimilation narrative in France shapes care as well. 
thank you so much. That's really thank helpful. you. Yeah, thank you, Jason. Hello, thank you very much. Yes, um, I agree that this um, comparison of the three different uh, cultures and societies is um, is, is really fascinating, um, and, um, and and I really appreciate the level of detail that you, that you went into to to, to unpack all of that. Um, my question is um, mostly about uh, gender, and um, I was really interested in uh, how you. Um, uh, showed that in, in Japan, we we now have in the in the formal care sector in the paid care sector, almost forty percent of those yes. uh, a, a, a men, uh, and and this is quite similar to the uh, numbers I've seen of the informal care as as well, um, uh, unpaid care, um, so sort of in families and so on. So. Um, I, I, I don't know if that's sort of plateaued or if that, how is that uh, changing or anything, um, but I wonder if this indicates that um, uh, this has become, care has become a, a little bit more normalized or is it becoming more normalized uh, as a kind of uh, uh, male work or, um, or do you think that there have been changes in the ways in which um, Japanese people have come to uh, conceive of care or what their associations are of care um, in a way to make it more uh, acceptable or um, uh, accessible to, for um, men. Um, yeah, I'll leave it there. Yeah, I think <laughs> it's a very interesting question because uh, the the presence of men in the big, big uh, presence of men in facilities in Japan, in formal sector, it's uh, really astonishing uh, because uh, we don't see the, the same thing in France or in, in Brazil or uh, I think in the United States no more. You don't have, uh, you have only women in the, in the profession of care worker or 90% of women. And uh, we think, I think it's only in the facilities where you have 40% uh, of women, of men, because in the informal uh, in-home uh, care worker, uh, they, they are not, uh, we have a very few percentage of men because uh, they in the home you must uh, not only do uh, uh, care care but, but only but also cook uh, clean the house and so the clean the room uh, and so on and uh, they, these things uh, the, the men they don't don't uh, do uh, in Japan and they are not uh, fond to do it. So the, I think uh, it's interesting to compare the facilities, the formal sector, and uh, the care uh, in, in the of in-home uh, care workers, because they, in the ho house, uh, they come when they go to the houses, are women mostly and not men. And uh, think, but I think uh, um, the the presence of men in the facilities is uh, is really linked to the uh, public policies in Japan, because they saw that uh, in 2008 uh, uh, with the bankruptcy and with the crisis. Uh, financial crisis, uh, a lot of men uh, was uh, the, in uh, unemployed and was dismissed uh, of companies of uh, uh, Ashra uh, uh, um, Bank and uh, big uh, industry. And so uh, the government has said, if you uh, go to uh, do a, a, a study, a study in care work, if you go to a training in care work, after you can have a, 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 a job in a facility. And uh, I think uh, the, 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 for, for the men, it's a uh, women's uh, work, uh, the work of care worker, but uh, they prefer to a uh, women work than to, 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 to be unemployed because in Japan, uh, be unemployed, it's horrible. It's a uh, humiliation. It's uh, really considered uh, horrible to be unemployed, unemployed. So they prefer do a, a men a women profession and women work than 
to be uh, unemployed, unemployed. But uh, I think uh, what is interesting in this uh, uh, question of uh, men in the profession of care work uh, is that uh, it, it um, this mystified the the idea that uh, uh, only women can do is a, a mother profession is only uh, affect and emotion and uh, the, the kind of uh, work that women can do better than men on or the presence of 40 percent of men shows that the, this the care work is something that we that can, can that can learn we can learn to be to 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 do care and the men can do uh, do, do and if if they if they uh, learn it but the problem is that uh, this is a profession that uh, is very, very uh, bad uh, uh, way paid the salary are very slow so the men said me the men i interviewed in the facility said me that we, with this uh, salary of uh, care worker we cannot uh, marry because we cannot uh, have a, ha a house with uh, women and children and so on and uh, this is not a, a work that uh, uh, allows a man to have a family so it's a uh, problem uh, even if the men have uh, more uh, more uh, easily than uh, women uh, the post uh, the, the the jobs of uh, uh, leadership and um, good uh, good uh, better job and uh, with more power in the institution but uh, it's not uh, enough to to live because they are, they think they have a low salary, but they do all the, what the, the women do. That's not different. So it, it shows a lot of things interesting for us. Uh, this is mostly the effect that they can do this job. And uh, yeah. when when we yeah. said that this is a job of, of for women. Thank you. All right, I get to ask a question now. Uh, so, so if if uh, um, from reading your work and and uh, hearing you talk today, one uh, kind of policy prescription um, that maybe I could I would draw out from your work is that uh, a real place to try to affect change with regard to. So they're all going to get a question, as in you know, what do you think of this? Uh, uh, to affect conditions of, of care and pay for care uh, is immigration policy because uh, you know what you were just saying about Japan. Uh, you know um, the financial crisis uh, played a role in that, but but it, but it seems like the major thing is that there are no uh, immigrants because of the tighter uh, immigration policies. Immigrants can't replace uh, Japanese workers, so. At some point, men have to start filling in, and they have to start paying better wages. And the wages are, you know, as you were just saying, they still may not be uh, up to what they they should be. But at least this is a way to begin to get change. Which, which, when I look at the other countries, you know, France and Brazil and the United States, uh, you know, it all seems so right. There are so many forces to keep down the pay and the work conditions of, of care workers, right? And it's, you know, it's sex, it's race, um, uh, it's class. And, uh, you know, so so there are, you know, there are lots of kinds of uh, domestic sorts of policies that people propose to try to change this and to try to get uh, better respect for care workers in that. But um, but it's interesting, I mean, from, from your work and because you have this global perspective, but then you go kind of into the, you know, the details of these different countries, uh, it really kind of pulls out for me the importance of, of 
maybe you know uh, attacking these issues through immigration. I'm reminded of of Jones uh, Jones' work on this, right? The, arguing that that uh, care, you know, that immigrant care workers. Uh, should be granted uh, citizenship rights um, and, uh, you know, as well as their dependents. And uh, I thought that, I mean, that's a really fascinating uh, argument, I think, and it's provocative. Uh, you know, I, I really like it. Um, but, you know, even if you don't, even if you don't necessarily want exactly those prescriptions, something like, like if you, if you go at this, you know, that if you're going to, if you're going to have immigrants who are care workers somehow, right, trying to regulate that, I don't know, it just seems like a very, powerful and viable way to maybe start to move move the lever on the the pay and the work uh for care workers um you know without necessarily uh adopting restrictive immigration policies or maybe you do need to re adopt restrictive immigration policies to boost the status of care workers um these are just all the thoughts that have, have been swirling around my head as I listen to you and then, you know, Jason's question and, and, you know, some of the other comments. So if you have any reaction to that, I would be, I would be very interested to hear it. No, I, I think your, your, your reflection, your thought about uh, immigration policy is very interesting. And uh, I think uh, my research shows that the, we don't have, we don't need really uh, immigration, if you have immigration uh, policy and uh, immigrants to be care workers, if uh, uh, we have other kinds of uh, other uh, possibilities uh, to to replace the place of the immigrants in uh, in countries like France, where the immigration policy is really important for the the, the care care sector. Uh, in, in Brazil, for example, we don't have uh, immigration, exterior immigration, but we have internal immigration, immigration from northeast, northeast of Brazil, from uh, center of south of Brazil, and um, they are, they have uh, low salaries than the people of uh, Sao Paulo and Rio, and they, um, they fulfill the place of immigration, uh, but they are not immigrants, uh, external immigrants. They are immigrants, inter internal Im Im immigrants. And uh, uh, a lot of uh, internal immigration in Brazil uh, in the care sector, because uh, in Sao Paulo, for example, a lot, uh, majority of people that uh, works in the facilities are not from Sao Paulo. They are from northeast, northeast of Brazil, in the, the other uh, parts of uh, Brazil that is a very big country. So uh, you have a lot of uh, internal immig immigration that uh, replaces the, 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 the immigration policy. And uh, in Japan is the same thing. I think uh, the, the women are very bad paid. Uh, they have uh, low wages. They are, uh, they are uh, um, discriminated in the uh, labor market. And uh, the women, uh, they are in the sector of care and uh, they had they, they are in the places that uh, immigrants will be if uh, they if uh, uh, Japan has a politic of migration of the external migration that he doesn't have and so I think uh, uh, the it's interesting to think uh, about uh, the the immigration policy and what uh, kind of uh, impact uh, they have uh, this this uh, immigration policy have to the care sector and uh, in France we saw uh, that um, immigration uh, uh, is uh, 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 the the women uh, that migrate from uh, sub-Saharan uh, Africa from um, Maghreb, the north of Africa, and uh, the black Africa, Senegal, uh, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, uh, and so on, uh, they are, and they have uh, a, a, a second role in the, these uh, uh, facilities or in the uh, associations. They are, uh, they are uh, discriminated. They are, uh, uh, they have uh, wages uh, inferior uh, or, or 
also others, uh, not uh, migrant people, and they have uh, they are in the places of um, not uh, good. For example, for the, it's difficult to, to have uh, immigrant uh, people in the in the place of uh, nurses, for example. Nurses are white and uh, are not migrant, and the immigrants are the care workers in the uh, more uh, inferior status. John? Hi, thank you, Helena, for this very nice talk. Um, and for the nice questions at the end, which you'll notice none of us have tried to answer because we don't know the answers either. <laughs> um, but I want to, uh, I'm, I do want to move to a slightly different level and ask you to think about, to ask me to help to think about this because here's what I've been thinking. Um, part of the reason, especially in France and in Brazil where there's internal migration, why the conditions for care workers can remain poor is because there are there's an excess number of workers looking for work, right? Migrants. Um, one way to fix that, of course, is to what and people have proposed this is to increase the professionalization of the care work, right? So you make it possible for there to be team leaders and managers, and you create a hierarchy within care work so that you start at the bottom, but then you go up in the hierarchy, you get higher wages, etc. Of course, I don't think that's a solution. It works elsewhere in the economy, but I don't think it would work in care work. And your example about the small places, um, yes. I, where the Alzheimer's workers, where the people with Alzheimer's are better cared for by someone who does everything and lives with them basically and treats it like a home rather than like a, there's a kitchen and then there's skilled yeah. care work. Um, that the, Those two models are very different about the direction of future care work. One is a model of greater specialization and the other is a model of um, really, if you let me put it this way, thinking about care from the standpoint of what the people who are being cared for will feel most comfortable with. And those will move in different directions economically, right? And I wonder if you've given some thought to how one, if one is better than the other first, and if so, how would you, um, you mentioned in the paper, the fact that public policy and political movements can help us move these things in one direction or another. What, what would you do if you were able to think about the future of care work and how we might make it better? It's difficult. Yes. It's a difficult question. <laughs> I think it's a very difficult question, but uh, I think uh, what you said about the about, uh, labor market is important. It's, uh, in Brazil, you have a lot of people that are looking for work, and so it uh, it changes the, the nature of uh, care sector, the fact of people are, uh, you, you have a lot of people looking for work, and also uh, even the, the, the working conditions are bad, uh, even the wage is low, it's a, a wage, and uh, it's, a, it's a kind of a comfortable situation to have a work. And so I think it's very important to to uh, remember that uh, the the situation of labor market uh, in in Brazil we have a lot of people we don't have the problem of uh, lack of uh, care worker that we have now in France or in Japan or in other other north northern countries, and uh, I think. Uh, be, of course, it's it's better to have a little uh, home like uh, um, uh, group uh, like the Cantu of, of I saw in France, uh, but uh, it's very difficult to 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 the 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 workers to the, to to do 
or, or, or herself like in house uh, when uh, housewife it's, it's difficult for her to do all and uh, and uh, uh, not to be uh, remunerated it's the case of uh, of uh, this uh, uh, housekeeper in uh, France uh, Cantu, uh, they have uh, a, a wage uh, similar to others that don't uh, do uh, all that they do. And, uh, but uh, I think it's a uh, it's, uh, better, uh, it's interesting, uh, uh, the possibility of uh, have a few persons not necessary in Cantu, but uh, uh, in facilities, not, not uh, uh, a facility of 100 uh, the people uh, uh, together, but uh, the little group uh, uh, that can uh, react uh, and uh, link with one another better than uh, uh, if you have a big uh, amount of people together. And uh, I think it's 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 necessary to to think what kind of uh, uh, care care we we need we will want to have tomorrow tomorrow in the future, but uh, it's possible to say we don't have we want don't want to have like Orpea the the facility that was uh, condemned uh, here uh, because uh, they prefer to uh, give uh, um, uh, money to uh, actioner uh, to and uh, not uh, give uh, comfort to the the elder people and so uh, the 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 care for think to a society of care it's a thing to have the possibility of give give to the people that are in the facilities or in home a better condition of life or the condition of the, they want to have in the in their daily life and uh, it's, it's very difficult to to reply to your question because I think we need uh, to, to to think collectively uh, about uh, what what to do and uh, what kind of uh, public policy. But uh, in Brazil now, uh, with uh, Lula's government, they do they do they instituted now a, a group of uh, a working group with the different uh, ministries ministries and uh, to to think about a plan national plan of uh, care and uh, they uh, take a lot of people uh, that specialist in care uh, to think about what kind of um, better uh, care uh, so the society will need and we will can can give but um, we are uh, we are confident that uh, this uh, group will uh, do uh, some good job, but um, it's uh, it's difficult to to think about uh, what kind of uh, because uh, you have a lot of problems, uh, big problems, and the care sector is one of the problems of uh, to 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 solve and. Uh, in Brazil, you have a lot of people without uh, housing that uh, are in the street, for example, and uh, it's, it's, they don't have a job, don't have money, don't have a, a possibility of uh, uh, the, the, to, 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 to live, live decently. And so, um, but uh, I think it's uh, it's necessary to think about uh, the the future of uh, of care, uh, and uh, I think the pandemics uh, show us uh, the give us lessons, and uh, the the problem is that uh, the pandemics uh, all uh, finished it or, or finished it, not finished it completely, but uh, uh, less less uh, pandemic, uh, less. Uh, uh, we now have a lot of uh, uh, lessons that uh, are forget, for, forget uh, for, forgot, 
because people that uh, the, the, they were very near when, when they were each other in the pandemics and uh, now uh, they we we have the impression they uh, forgot all the 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 lesson of the pandemics but uh, the 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 lesson of the pandemics we i think it's uh, important to 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 think yes uh, thank you uh, jocelyn if you if you'd let me uh, there's a question in the chat from the the from um uh the class oh Asha's jumping up it's from hannah i see that do you, Hannah, do you want to say, sure, say yeah. the question? Okay. Okay, so you mentioned um, this incentivization of care for men in Japan because employment, unemployment is seen as so shameful. How do you propose we can incentivize participating in care for people whose identities otherwise are not incentivized or maybe in other countries or social systems where care is not incentivized through unemployment being shameful. Yes, I think it's impo important to to think about uh, the conditions uh, where we can uh, uh, move people that are not in the care sector to enter in the care sector. And uh, unemployment was one of the conditions in Japan, but in other countries, uh, where you have a lot of unemployment, uh, the government don't don't, don't uh, do the polit policy, public policy to uh, have uh, people uh, uh, enter the sector of care uh, because they are unemployed. So it depends of a lot of things, uh, a lot of uh, things, and uh, unemployment is one of the conditions and. Uh, uh, the possibility of public policy is another, and the pol public policy is not uh, uh, the Japanese uh, government uh, thought uh, it uh, it was a good idea, but uh, this is not the case in other countries. And uh, I think uh, we I don't see in other countries that possibility of uh, 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 entering uh, the sector uh, because of an employ in another, the situation on of an unemployed i think but i think you are reason you have reason to think uh, to talk about what kind of uh, uh, situation uh, created uh, is necessary to have people uh, in the, the entering the care sector people that are not uh, in the in the sector till now yes thank you very much thank you and thank you for waiting, Jocelyn. So the floor is now yours. Uh, it was worth the wait. That was an excellent question. Um, I so I, this this conversation has been really helpful and interesting. I guess I got on the queue in part in response to Daniel's question about immigration, which obviously the care sector and immigration are, as you say in your work, bound up in all kinds of ways: rural urban migration and international migration, all kinds of things. Um, I. I would be inclined to kind of invert that to think more about how placing a higher value on care might create more of a market for I mean in the United States the discourse is those that work is done by immigrants and it's different in different sectors there's a huge population of Filipinos for example in the home health sector and a lot of um, Latina women in the child care and early childhood ed sector I mean it's sort of sectoral but the the discourse is that's because you know us citizens don't want to take those jobs and of course at the right wage people would take those jobs i think you've also seen that in um there's been a higher representation of men in formal sectors of care particularly healthcare and hospice care as those became relatively more desirable jobs particularly in the wake of the 2008 financial crisis um but it is interesting that pay for care of all sorts, and this is the this is the work that feminist economists tell us, remains stubbornly uh, low despite demand. Like it's it's almost unresponsive to supply and demand dynamics, which is pretty shocking. And I don't know that um, 
I, I guess I, I, I see them, the immigration care is entangled in terms of, of dynamics. I would be reluctant to say that the answer is to create more restrictive migration policies, which already seem pretty draconian, at least in the United States. Um, and it, it sounds like perhaps also in, in Japan. And I, I guess there's a, a few things to think about. One, this question of incentives, I think is fascinating. I mean, I, I do think that we have some evidence that changing incentives. So in countries, for example, where there is mandatory paternity leave or where you would otherwise lose parental leave if you don't take that paternity leave or men are not also taking leave to care for children. It changes the dynamics of who's responsible for care. I think that we saw during the pandemic that it changed the dynamics of who was responsible, like that did actually shift the burden somewhat. Women were still doing overwhelmingly most of the care, but it, it, it altered it somewhat. Um, and so I think there are ways that we could think about creating those incentives that might be a little bit like not overcomplicating them, but just raising the wage for them. Um, and, and one of the things just again, to give some historical perspective that I think is really shocking is there's a conversation that's happening over the course of the, the sort of 1950s into the 1980s about the value of things like care labor. And in particular, vis-a-vis -vis the value of mediated financial services. So things like banking services, right? And there's this whole discussion about whether the system of national accounts will count care labor and will count banking services, which are not, which are considered at the outset to be um, a, a drag on the economy. And over the course of you know, the advent of neoliberalism, mediated financial services make their way into the system of national accounts in a very robust way, and care laborers remain excluded unless they're in the market, right? And so I just it, it's just a reminder that it doesn't have to be this way, right? We could create a, an economic and financial system in which care is given a value maybe a value higher than financial mediation, for example. And that, that, I don't, it just seems like rather than take these as natural forces, it might be worth thinking about how we got where we are in terms of care values. So just that, mm -hmm. history, history talking. <laughs> it's very interesting, the, 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 the comment about uh, the financial services. And I think uh, this, if it, it was possible to increase the wages, not only of men, but uh, of women workers, the care workers, it will be one solution uh, for a lot of problems. And uh, I think uh, uh, it's, uh, it's possible to, it's, poss it's, it's not fast, easy to, uh, to, Increase the the wage of uh, uh, care workers because in, in in France, for example, the in home care workers, if uh, the the the, the wage is is increased, uh, the government must uh, pay more. Then 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 so the government don't don't want to uh, increase the part of uh, care sector budget in their budget of uh, the nation. And um, I think uh, uh, APA it's an allocation of uh, personalized the, the allocation personalisée d'autonomie. It's a um, care uh, um, public policy of care, uh, they need. They will need to uh, uh, increase uh, a participation of the state in the in the uh, benefit of the people that uh, are uh, older, older, the elderly people. And so I think uh, it's uh, difficult to uh, convince the government to change the the budget. And it will, it was, it will be one solution uh, to increase the, the wage of in in in, in home uh, care workers. And uh, I think it's not it's not easy to uh, to do it. But I think it's it's a, it's a good suggestion to to think about and uh, see what uh, kind of uh, uh, policy is possible to. 
to 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 arrive to this solution. You see that uh, is in France now. Uh, you have a lot of uh, uh, mobilization and demonstration, but uh, it's not uh, very efficient. And so I think. Uh, <laughs> For care sector, it's uh, it's not so. I'm I'm not so optimistic, but uh, I think it's it's a good 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 idea to think about uh, the financial issues about uh, the 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 problems uh, of the care sector in in the world. Okay, I think we have time for one last question and Maurice uh, has stepped up, so uh, take it away. Uh, I wanna thank you also, uh, Helena, for this wonderful um, uh, presentation and paper. There's not too many scholars who could pull off such an international uh, uh, you know, comparison uh, so well. So really thank you for this. Um, the conversation, you know, in, in thinking about Hannah's question, and uh, and and what Jocelyn had to say, there's, I think you know, points to um, the real uh, complexity in these issues because I think as care theorists, a lot of times we want to, you think about you know caring for migrants uh, and you know doing that by being more open and welcoming, but at the same time we have uh, you know the the problem of uh, international care migration. I know you talk about both domestic and international uh, migration. And so, you know, if we do open borders more, does that just mean more care labor, you know, moves to the more powerful um, uh, countries? And I think the policy changes uh, that have been suggested and discussed are very important. I think back to uh, Joan's uh, term of uh, the uh, privileged irresponsibility, you know, particularly, you know, men and uh, getting away without ca uh, care uh, responsibilities. And I think policy changes are uh, certainly uh, critical and important, but we also might want to think about, you know, how do we, how do we change uh, the values in, in a society? How do we change the conversation? Um, how do we go about, uh, you know, pushing the elements of uh, of masculinity you described, you know, the 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 feeling of Japanese men um, uh, quite well, and uh, it seems to me that uh, a big part of that, you know, could be uh, uh, policy changes, but also uh, more uh, social, emotional, and and value changes. Uh, there's a great project at the University of uh, Wisconsin. Uh, working on a book of the rhetorics of care, you know, and and, and talking about um, how we bring our values into speech, and I think um, uh, that's uh, that's going to be, uh, I think, part of the shift because we're talking about a major kind of um, social change. Uh, so anyway, I guess that's not much of a question, but more of a of a comment. But um, your 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 work has certainly uh, provoked a lot of. Uh, good thinking on this. Thank you very much. I think uh, your comments are very interesting because uh, I think it's it's necessary to think about uh, changing values, not only change politics policy, but uh, policy. I think it's it's difficult to change, but it's more easy to change policy than to change values and the values and. Uh, people's uh, uh, way of uh, living, a uh, way of um, uh, be behavior, behavior. And uh, it's, uh, I think it's necessary to have, uh, to think about uh, the change of values, but I don't know what, uh, what kind of uh, solution we can uh, have to change values. Uh, uh, the only one I think uh, it's possible to change is the, the feminist movement. But the feminist movement are not uh, in Japan, for example, it uh, almost don't, don't exist. And the Japanese uh, uh, society needs a really a change of values uh, of uh, and masculinities, etc. And, uh, and uh, we don't have a um, uh, feminist movement there to change values and uh, think uh, 
I think it's very difficult to to, to change values. But uh, do you think uh, you have the solutions to, you, to change to change values? You think uh, think you have a do, do no. you think the feminist movement is one of the possibilities of change values? Well, I you know I think um, the, the the feminist movement has changed our society. Uh, it has had an impact, and um, uh, if there th clearly uh, this is very complex and very deep, and uh, there is no uh, you know there are no easy solutions uh, uh, to this. But I think we. Um, uh, we we continue to try, right? And we try to make progress and uh, and and think about care as a as a kind of uh, moral progress uh, that you know that we can make. So uh, anyway, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, you know, I would just I you <laughs> said I would go back to the the question. I think Hannah it was in uh, in uh, Asha's class. You know, asked about also how you know how can you hook into these uh you know these values these other values that might already be prevalent in our society so you know if, if it's something like you know it's shameful not to have, not to work in japan then oh, okay well you know let, let's tie that into care or you know i don't know what it is in, the, in exactly you know the united states uh you know patriotism or religion or you know try to find a hook in that way uh in these kind of uh you know to subvert the these uh these usual understandings that, that exist of, of these concepts and tie care into them. But anyway, uh, that is for all of us to think about. Uh, we, we are at the end of our time. Um, uh, I want to thank you, Helena. That was really great. Uh, um, you know, uh, you know, now you can go to your, your late dinner, but I, this is about the time you eat dinner in France anyway, isn't it? The, the 8.30 uh, <laughs> dinner time. So so it's not too bad, but but I hope you you, you should treat yourself to a, a a very nice meal because you 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 did wonderfully for us all. Uh, thank you all. Uh, you know everyone who who contributed. This is I thought you know I always learned at these events from the speaker, and then I learned from everyone who who asks questions and makes comments. And you know it's a really it's a really great forum for uh, for that reason. And uh, so uh, we will be back. Uh, in the fall with a with a with a, a new set of speakers and um, everyone until then be well and have a wonderful summer and uh, I, I hope to see you all in the fall thank you very much thank for all the comments and all thank you very much yeah thank for you. all the comments and all the questions I will I was very happy to see Joan and uh, to know you uh, for the first time to meet you for the first time and uh, the other people were that uh, is, was in the, the room. And um, I'm sorry for my poor English, but uh, I need to learn more and I must go to somewhere where I will exercise more my English for better uh, performance the next time. You did wonderfully. Yeah. It was wonderful. And my students were so um, impressed and amazed. And they said, how do we find more of these? And I said, well. <laughs> well, Asha, this is actually, I think this is brilliant that you brought your class. And as you, you think about marketing next year, I wonder if it could be, uh, you know, marketed these events that you could bring your classes to, you know, right. kind of things. So uh, that that was that was great. And Hannah's question was awesome. So. Yeah. Yeah, she, I had to dismiss them, so they're gone now. But um, yeah, she really um, was excited to ask it. I mean, our the class has been not directly on care, but on you know culture and recognition, and so it's so interesting to have this cross cultural analysis that you you provide um, that you provided in your talk, um, Helena. I think it's just I'm so interested in reading more of your work. So yeah, and right, for getting our students, I mean, there's a lot of interest in care theory and students in various classes, you know, and they're kind of like amazed to be able to sit in on this high level discourse. And of course, I think everything runs through care, you know, so I'm like, okay, whatever the course is, care is relevant. So, <laughs> so okay, thank you so much. Great to see you all. And thanks okay. for that wonderful talk. Yeah, thank you very much. Bye everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good luck with your surgery, Joan.